Do you think that these tools, they're very universal, that there is a common ground to all writers about what are the tools that works or don't work? Or do you think that it's very an in, linked to idiosyncrasy, like something very individual from the people you, you talk with? The, the fact that uh, this openness to stimuli in the environment is very important aspect, and I think as a psychiatrist you, 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 you know this better uh, than me, is what is called uh, inhibition, latent inhibition. Uh, so creative people uh, with high IQ, precise, uh, have this reduced latent inhibition. So uh, they are, their filter of uh, st external stimuli and even internal stimuli are deficient. They don't work very well, uh, leading to the entrance of a lot of information. For uh, in situation uh, in, in for schizophrenia or psychosis, uh, it has been a link to the same thing, reduced latent inhibition, but it seems that it's uh, linked to low IQ. For higher creative people, they have a high IQ and also this reduced latent inhibition. And this is something that helped them to make sense of all these stimuli, to use these stimuli that are entering, uh, uh, that the, the person consider stimuli from the environment, external environment, and also from uh, internal uh, stimuli, internal uh, events, internal information. So they, are, they have this acute awareness of their environment, physical, social, and internal. Uh, and this, when you, when you talk about the, uh, uh, the um, uh, sort of chaotic or uh, friction between ideas. If you do have access to a lot of ideas, of course there will be friction and there will be uh, creativity.